<laughs> that's that's how my stream started. <laughs> Hello. Also, passes passes quiet. You might have to turn uh, turn them up. Hello, chat. <laughs> Hello, chat. Welcome to this week's episode of Our Bez Roost, our weekly shenanigans here on the the channel. Also, oh right, yes. Um, last we left off, the group had split up a little bit after there was a slight puppy incident with Lavetta. They've reunited wow. in a winery. In said winery, they fought some ghouls. Not ghouls, ooze. Ooze. Um, which seem to have been living in the barrels, perhaps. Perhaps not. Not quite sure. There was also a slight fire. That was quickly handled. So the five of you, as the embers trickle out, and you're all sat here, the light from the various torches bouncing off the walls, you are left in a relatively large sort of warehouse room. These two-story tall barrels, taps on the sides of them. Thank you, Vanny. Some of them cracked and dripping old, old wine. Some of them long decayed. But here you are. The last few days have been interesting. Some of you had set out from Belosia. Or correction, from uh, Lupine, in search of Belosia. Zara had made the suggestion that you find something more formidable as a temporary staging base before you enter the city proper. Perhaps this is the building. Perhaps it's the one further up the hill. It's your choice. But what happens next is now up to you. But most notably to Zara and Lavetta, there's an individual missing from this group. Groff. You've had no note of where he might be. And he's not with the three that you caught up to. And we'll start with that. With you all sheathing your weapons and brushing yourselves off. Okay, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. What happened? What? Kathy, your ambiance stream is paused. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Whenever I tab out of it, sorry. So, so Groff very sick. Okay. He he couldn't. He was un, unconscious. Uh, he he was still sleeping. Uh, but he very sick. We think he ate something. And probably we, yes. Uh, we. We found a whole bunch of really bad food in his pack, yeah, and and all about his person, yeah. Um, yeah. we uh, we try to uh, we try to move him. We try to get him on 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 horse. Mm -hmm. Um. 
but he too heavy. Not him himself is heavy. It's it's more the. the... Are you sure it's not him himself? It's the big balls. <laughs> that yeah. that I would probably no, agree with that. If you no matter down, what. You should be able to see. We we could have moved him. Uh so we we left Horsey with him. At the bottom of the hill. Uh still inside, yeah. And we moved him back inside. Uh, so yeah, at the bottom of the hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see Jerry kind of flapping around the room. They cut his hand off! And he's like kind of flying Jerry, around. Jerry, shut up! <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! You... what? Oh, we like, didn't so cut it. I'm sorry. Then Zara just shrugs. Okay. Well, we it didn't look like his hand. Chicken. That's Why not true, did Jerry? you cut his hand off? Why didn't you wake me up? You were gone already. You were gone. You guys were gone. You could have sent like, you know, ha- you know that Ow. hand, or you know the hand, or sent your horse, or sent something to come and get. That only goes yeah. thirty feet. But <sighs> why would you? Why you what, what was to me? Was it like? And how are we supposed to find you? What if it's telepathic, right? I I don't know. I just. No. I wish it's no. <sighs> and also, also, we didn't cut off his hand. It's just hanging off by the bone. <laughs> then he may as well have cut it off. I couldn't. Every time I did, I got an electric shock. What's an electric shock? Uh, I I think she means headache. Oh, it, it felt like it felt like a shock for the system. That it was like a really big headache, and then my nose started thi- to bleed. But I think that was because you you kept hitting the the shackle. Well, did I hit the shackle? I don't remember if I hit the shackle. I can't remember. No, I remember you. Well, uh, you hit it. There was definitely a spark at one point, and that caused the problem with the oil. That started the fire, <laughs> says Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, you're not helping. <laughs> you always told me to be truthful to you. You're right. I did say that. You said lying is bad. Lying is good in some cases. Okay. They didn't burn his hand. <laughs> Jerry, it's too late. I'm so confused. Chicken sounds good right now. Oh, bird. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jerry he's a spirit. Fl- <laughs> Do you see Jerry kind of like flies through the little hole in one of the wine barrels, but it doesn't really look like he can fit, but he still fits. And he just kind of disappears into the barrel. Jerry, what do you see in there? You just hear like bird, you you know, like when birds are like in um in a uh like a bird bird bath. That's what you hear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't respond. Got it. He's just splashing around in yeah acid wine, whatever is in there. This stuff's tasty. Reminds me of berries. Oh good. Oh good. Okay. Oh, love it. it just, I just, I just kind of keep switching between, like all of the people in the room, just trying to get a grip. Still, still processing the fact that Groff's Groff's hand is no, no more at this point. Uh, who was the last person to see? To see him? Uh, to talk to 
Oh, well, he didn't wake up after we went to bed that night, so... No, he was extremely fevered and very, very ill. You, uh, you, know, you, know, you know the food that the, the villagers told us not to eat? Yeah, that one! That's what he was eating. All the crops? Yeah, all the crops. He even had a whole, like, chicken carcass. Ew, oh. It was... It was gross. That reminds me. But yeah, so when we went to the bed that night, um, before you ran off while Zara was on watch, that was when we all last talked to him. So I think he's technically alive? I, I don't know. He, I uh, don't think he has very long if I'm gonna he's be still honest. alive. Based on the magic that that sickness is and, the, and all of the layers of sickness that he's under, I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> I tried to put him in the marble again, like 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 what like you did before with our other friend, but I I, I didn't have to do it. We are not. Friend. We are not putting any more people in some marbles. I managed to stop that. I did try to cure her sickness, but there's too many of them. It's like layers upon layers of sickness. No one else ate the shitty food, right? No. No. Definitely not. I can't speak for Jerry, though. He's you hear purpose, you anyway. You hear Jerry, like, diving beneath the water and splashing around. As he's doing this, uh, Zara, your cat is kind of, like, reaching up, pawing at the hole that Jerry went through. <laughs> yeah, cat's doing fine. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine, other than that. My horsey's with him, it's fine. I think. Is, is there someone else taking care of him? The horse. Because... <sighs> Listen, he ate some matchit, it's gruff. If he dies, he'll go the way he would want to go. Buy food. <laughs> Hope he's let him get some rest and just hope that something good comes of this. Hi. Have you guys have you guys checked out the area? This this place is pretty much a bloodbath at this point. Uh th this was the first place we really managed to this is where it was where we were starting from, so yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't gotten to just, explore much. Yeah, I just I wasn't sure if anyone had some time to. I mean, we need a game. We need a game plan, right? I'm pretty out of it, so. Also, I feel like maybe we should open some doors to the outside to thin out some of the smoke.
You should all have control of your map right now. You guys are welcome to go where you wish. Uh, if at any point I say stop, I need everyone to stop moving. But right now, uh, you should be good. All so right, as I'll you open the door. If... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No worries. You see uh, the mashing barrels from before. Uh, they're sort of long sticks with a flat base on them. Um, and then there's like a tap on the side at the very bottom that feeds into another little barrel. There's some, uh, there's like a ladder that goes up into them. Um, oh, see, this would be a mashing barrel where people would, you know, step in and mash the grapes, but you probably wouldn't necessarily know what this is. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like a big pad going... Go ahead, sorry. Yes, I was going... All right, I'm going to see if I can find anything useful in this place. If I scream, I found more of those weird little viney, weird little creatures. Who is this? So you open the door, uh, Zara. I can't see! <laughs> oh, that's the curse of humanity. Inside here, <laughs> you see what appears to be like, uh, there's a lot of, uh, glass blowing tools in here there's like a little workshop table and then there's a bunch of sticks with wine bottles sort of poking along them there's also a like a furnace in the back you can i light a candle yeah you may you may i will I give you the candles. Okay, that reminds me i'd like to re i'd like to light my torch Again, press the vegetation. Okay. Um, let me give you that light. Um, there you go. Um, so yeah, Zara, in here, can you give me a history check? Okay. Um, you've probably maybe seen a room like this before based on what you can see there's a box of sand there's different crystals and stuff this appears to be a glass blowing workshop uh if you had to guess very likely where they blow the bottles for the wine um and there's a selection of tools across the workshop and like i said various wine bottles uh, to your left is another door uh that is shut completely uh, and directly to your left leads downstairs to a pitch black basement. Uh, cold air. Uh, you feel like a, a draft as air circulates down the stairs and that cold air brushes across your feet. Zara will first check for anything valuable in there. Okay, investigation check. You hear creaking noises coming from downstairs in terms of value there are loads of wine bottles across the wall here but there's also a collection of tools um, within your search you are able to locate a full set of glass blowing tools should you wish to collect all of them and various wine bottles uh, if you wish to collect those as well I shall take the wine okay um, I would say there's probably about 20 bottles in here, so you can choose up to 20 bottles, but you gotta remember these are glass bottles that you're gonna be putting in a pack, so. It's like five. Okay, go ahead and mark that on your sheet. We will leave the glass blower's tools there. A sort of creaking sound comes from downstairs. Uh, she'll wait and check out. Oh, that door first. Alright, you walk up to the door and there's a lock on it that you click oh. and open. Uh, well, no, no, it's a you're on you're on the inside, so you know you can easily click and open. And outside, you see fresh snow that leads outside. Um, ah. Would appear to be the southern eastern side of the building. All right, she'll leave the door open. I'll head back. All right, there's Cold some air blows stair in. going down, but there's sounds there, so I should not go there by myself, probably. Well, we do still have money. doors here, too. Uh, oh, this is another door up to the patio. Okay. 
Yeah, the one door that you opened before was like a large barn door, probably where they roll the barrels in and out of. This door seems to be more like a service door. Okay. Afia, you should be... Yeah, there you go. Yep. I was going to say, you should be able to click on those. Uh, as you open this door... <clears throat> sorry. This appears to be a large storage room for uh, barrels. Uh, there's, you know, rows and rows of barrels, some stacked on top of each other. Um, these appear to... Uh, well, it's it's hard to tell because they all seem to be uh, closed, but you don't necessarily know if they have anything in them unless you were to, to, to pry a little bit lar longer. Uh, on your left is a spiral staircase. Uh, it's thinner, but it seems to curve uh, counterclockwise. To your right is a door as well. There's various tools and such around here. Um, but yeah, there, there, this is a, a storage room for some sort. Look into in in the barrels. Okay, Am give I... you an investigation check. Yeah. Oh god, I just lost my sheet. One moment. My sheet. Investigation. Oh. Right. As you take a look here. This room does feel um it doesn't appear uh give me one second. Let me just make sure I give you the right information. Uh this room you you're able to sort of pry open the tops of the barrels. They're not fully closed and, and bound. This appears to be all unused barrels. There's no staining on the inside. There's no um you know that the, the top the top easily comes off. These are likely the barrels they use for filling with wine. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's also uh, you, you notice various uh, supplies along the walls and stuff like that. Um, you could probably. Um, uh, my apologies. Yeah, there, there's a good number of supplies in here uh, that, you know, you see various wood carving tools, hammers, and stuff like that. You could assess probably a good number of carpenter's tools in here. Sharon, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate you. You're welcome to take those should you wish. I'm going to take the card. All right, feel free to add that. It's about a saw, hammer, nails, hatchet, square rulers. Um, this just appears like an extra set, uh, but you are welcome to add it to your tool. That is an official tool, artisan tool. Um, you need to have the proficiency to use them and you know proper knowledge to use them, but you're welcome to add that to your sheet. You've got a door, a wooden door to your right as well. Uh, let's go to Fess, who seems to be walking towards the door here. So, Fess, you're stood at two doors that sort of open outwards, and uh, you see a hallway in front of you. Did you mute yourself? Oh, you DM'd me. Okay. Uh, uh, Danny? Yeah, what's up? Uh, sorry. sorry. Um, uh, the cat is attacking me. Give me just one second. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> He's attack. getting evicted. He's getting evicted from the room. Oh, Loris. Well, he just came, what? like, he was sleeping perfectly fine in his bed. And then he came over and launched himself at me and snapped my arm. Like, <laughs> it's not my fault. Your parent isn't home right now. Fix it. <sighs> it's like, I'm bored. I'm going to come over and bite you. Like, for sure. those who don't okay. know, uh, <laughs> Vanny's roommate has a formerly feral cat uh, who they have rehabilitated, well, in the process of rehabilitating, and he gets yeah. a little bitey sometimes <laughs> when he does get his, his name is His name is Loris after the Magic the Gathering uh, 
cat nightmare, <laughs> Loris, who is a black and white card, and Loris happens to be a black and white cat. <laughs> it makes so much sense. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Even the horror part. Okay, anyway. Um, yes. So, it's kind of hard to see where you're at right now, but it's the, the hallway seems to split and go each way. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move into the hallway. To your left is a, uh, is a door uh, that appears to be kind of open with the wind. Snow has piled up on one side of it to prevent it from closing. Mm -hmm. You look out and you can see what appears to be a loading dock of some sort. A broken down cart is slanted and uh, lays on its side. Barrels... Uh, cracked and warped inside of it. Uh, but this appears to be a loading dock area. To mm -hmm. your right appears to be a staircase of some sort, but a ramp, weirdly. Um, don't know what the ramp would be used for, but it exists to you there, to your right. Gotcha. Uh, does it look like it's going up or down? Both, actually. So, oh. uh, the the side that goes south appears to be going down. The side to your to the east uh, goes up. All right. Um. I wanted to go up before, so I'm gonna move up the ramp. Okay. Don't move your character. Can you see? Okay. We will. You should be. You're gonna be up. Uh, oh, yeah. light. It's a little wonky. Oh, it's the because the window. That's why. Okay. So the uh, wall. We'll go down. All right. While you've done that, you've gone up. We'll go back to Fleur. What are you doing, Fleur? I'm checking out this other door. This last door that was connected to this large room. It leads to what I just described with that cart overturned rotted away snow piling up over it. Uh, you are currently on a walkway. There's uh, eight pillars that go up to what you can as you look up appears to be a sort of manual crane that lifts barrels on and off of the cart. Huh. Or at least yeah. used to. That's cool. Lavetta, what are you doing? Lavetta is she is she's gonna straight up go and follow Char follow Char uh, follow Sara. Um Okay. Okay to her company. It's her company. Then I return to Zara. What what are you currently doing? Um, Lavetta, are you staying in pupper form? Ah, uh, yeah, she's 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 gonna stay on guarding in pupper form. Okay. Uh there is uh puppy breath behind you now, Zara. She notices puppy. She'll just nod. Take out two daggers. Well, one dagger, because she's holding a candle. And head down down. Okay. Very uh, quietly, very on edge. Give me a stealth roll. Uh, Okay, Lavetta, are you following downstairs? Lavetta's gonna attempt to be stealthy with her. Give me a stealth while in lo while in awful. Okay, one sec. Ah, sorry, my thing keeps closing. One second. Sorry, don't click your character. I'm gonna move you. You're gonna be down if you scroll down. You. I'm just waiting for the little Veta stealth roll. I'm I'm sorry. I'm having trouble with my sheet today. It's okay. You're still cute. Mm. I'm a wolf. Oh, but you're cute. Face. Don't threaten me with a good time. Uh, well, well, oh, right! <laughs> Can I roll the <for> stealth? <laughs> <laughs> Where, where, there we go. Okay. <laughs> nice. 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 Uh, 
There you go. Alrighty. Uh, while you guys are making your way down the stairs, uh, we'll go to Elfia. Because <laughs> you guys are in all different places right now. <laughs> Alright, Elfia, what are you doing? I'm going to peek in this door. Alrighty, you open it up and you see what appears to be sort of rotting lumber to the sides and a little table. Tools are strewn across the various tables. One of the chair legs is cracked and broken. Um, there's a door to your left. Uh, and like I said, there's various tools across the, the tables here. Uh, and a little piles of wood and metal, some metal, um, straight metal pieces as well. Is there anything that catches my eye? And she like, kind of like... Uh, investigation roll. <laughs> You can find another set of carpenter's tools. This room appears to be where they make the barrels based on the length of the wood, the metal that's in here, and all the different tools that are in here. You can very much ascertain that this is very likely where they make those barrels that you just saw in the other room. Okay. She's gonna take the, take the second pair of tools as well. Add that to your inventory. Fleur, are you following um, Birdie Face up the upstairs? Uh, or down? Floor, are you going down? Fleur isn't following. She's she's just going to call fast. Uh, I'm up the ramp. Okay. And then start going back this way. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to Fess. <laughs> this ramp curves upwards. You should be able to move. If you scroll up, you'll be able to see yourself. Okay. So... This, fall, this curves in this uh, clockwise Oh, fashion. this way. Okay, there we go. Uh, you gotta let go, though, to move. Or I okay. can't see you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, you, as you look down this hallway, you see what appears to be the top of that loading dock area. You see an old uh -huh. crane rope. Um, you see windows falling to the end, and then to your left is two doors. I just bumped my microphone. I apologize. Gotcha. So you see, like, when you look down that hole, you'll see that card I told you about earlier. Okay. That is the, over. the broken down card. Yep. Gotcha. This appears, based on, like, the ramp, this, and, like, sort of groove marks in the floor, this is probably where they unloaded barrels or loaded barrels, rolling them up or down that ramp uh -huh. to load them onto the cart and using this crane. So it's very, sort of almost, like, well... <laughs> industrialized machine not industrialized but like um high production facility is probably the best word i'm looking for where they're okay. making lots of wine probably carting several carts a day or at least they were yeah um you got two doors on your left uh, and there's four windows to your right uh the, the windows lead out and you can see the snow uh, some of the shutters are closed but some of them uh, are not okay um I'm going to press my ear against this door, the lower door. Give me uh, can I hear anything? Perception check. Perception, please. Perception. You put your ear and you're very good at sort of listening for sounds. And you hear what appears to be... Imagine like little pitter patters along stone but it appears to be coming from down like at an angle okay so not directly on the other side of the door correct i'm gonna open the door <laughs> you can click on it and open it you okay. see the room that you were just in but appear to be on that balcony that i mentioned earlier there's sort of a half step yeah. that go down 
uh, and loop around, but you see those four barrels Mm -hmm. on the tops of them. Uh, This appears to be where they probably pour in everything. Uh, Again, probably what that ramp helps with and lets it sort of ferment. Um, Yeah. All right. We're going to go back to Zara. You're jumping. How damaged? How damaged is the the balcony? It's not too bad. Uh, the flames oh. kind of lick to the bottom of it. The stairs are kind okay. of wonky, but uh, not too bad. Um, okay. In fact, it, it seems... I mean, it's an old place that probably hasn't been taken care of in maybe half a decade, over half a decade. Mm-hmm. But wood doesn't just rot super instantly. I mean, like, some of this place gotcha. has fallen to disappear, but more than likely the those monsters you met before. Gotcha. All right, Zara, you are faced with a door at the end of this place. So, Wolfie, what happened with her stuff? You, she's making a lot of noise coming down the stairs. Wolfie, Wolfie, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> she opens the door slightly to see if it makes any noise. Yeah, it, it creaks. Uh, then she just, you know, commits. Okay, give me a perception check. Oh, well, your, high, your high perception, not even going to make you roll. Uh, you see things moving around in the darkness. You hear the sounds of carapace along the stone. Of what? Carapace. The, uh hard exoskeleton of bugs. Fuck that not! Gross. Nope! <laughs> <laughs> do you shut the door, or do you just leave the door open? Nope! <laughs> right. Levena looks... looks as our one. What, what's the matter? Sounds like weird, creepy bugs. Not uh not me. She smirks. So for Olive, all of your, all of your talk, you're afraid of bugs. You look really stupid smirking as a wolf. <laughs> this, this is true, but you, I'm not the one afraid of bugs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> all right, are you uh, going back upstairs? That is yep, leaving. Levada, what are you doing? She's gonna, she's gonna go straight down and look, and try to open the door. Okay, you make your way down. You can go. You can move the door if you're able to open it. You're able to open it. You see inside an eerie, dusty cellar, and with your vision, seen in the dark, you see creepy crawlies climbing along the wall. Some grub-like, some worm-like, some cockroach-like. There's something gross about these bugs and they swarm in little places all around. Did did you say that I could see them or I can just hear them? Oh, you can see them because you have dark vision. Alrighty, well, she lights a torch. Okay. Well, y- you Start. can see. Yeah, I know, but she wants. I want to see what effect the light has on the books. You light up a torch. She starts waving the torch at the books. The bugs are sort of swarming. I just want to know what this looks like. <laughs> just this wolf with the torch. She's going back off. You see a line of. This appears to be a proper cellar. Wine bottles filled. Line the wall in front of you. And they seem to be pristine, despite all the bugs. But you get a good look at some of the bugs now. There's insects in the corner over here. Uh, oh, you can't see in, in game right now. Um, you see these creatures sort of stay at the edge of the light but some don't appear to be affected by it at all. 
and they smell horrendous, like a rotting corpse. She, she shouts up to Zara, and I know it's not going to sound very convincing because I'm whispering, but basically, <laughs> she's just like, it's, it's not, it's, it's not that bad. I, <laughs> I promise, it's, it's honestly fine. Can I make should... her roll a persuasion check for it? <laughs> yeah, are you just are you lying? Or are you pre- well? Okay, here's what I'm gonna say, uh, Lavetta. She's lying. No, 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 no. To me, I want you to roll either a persuasion check or a deception check, depending on if you're telling the truth or lying. Do a two GM roll and click that. Zara, roll an insight check. Okay. And then Wait, which which is it? Sorry. To me. You are going to either pick persuasion for telling the truth or deception for lying. And you want to make sure it's rolling 2 GM. Alrighty. That's where my brain is. Um, Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Zara. Yes. Surprisingly, this, you don't believe her. Did she roll? You guys rolled the same number, but meets it beats it. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) That's quite impressive, actually. Yeah, fuck that. No. So you're gonna leave me by myself? Yep. You're gonna abandon me? Yep. You can leave. What's the closest bug to Lavetta? Uh, they appear to be swarms of bugs. I.e., uh, as you step in, you see what appears to be almost hundreds, if not thousands, of grubs climbing along the stone floor. Are there any, like, nearby? Or are they just all over here? You... No, it's those right there. I mean, some crawl here and there, but it's a... You know, like, a swarm of flies and how they just sort of, like... Yeah. Are in, like, a clump? It's like that. But you hear crittering from over here, from over here, and from over here. These ones smell horrendous. I'm assuming she can't see through, like, inside the, like, swarm. It's just a swarm. It's just a swarm, bugs. All right, well, she trudges over to the to the bugs and she grabs a fist of bugs. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I think Give we me, need to stop now. <laughs> yeah, now is where you stop. <laughs> Give me a second. Lavetta, I need you to click on your token and um well, I'm going to have everyone roll initiative. Um Don't worry about the name. I'm sure it's fine. I only did it to Jim, but it worked. That's 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 fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I just wanted to take some back to show her that the bugs are okay. <laughs> the bugs. Guess what? They're the not. Bugs are not okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's a. I think there's a. Um... <laughs> There's an offspring song called The Bugs Are Not Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's a low hitting joke that I don't think anyone's gonna get. A- all right, sorry, there's a song by uh, The Offspring called The Kids Are Not All Right. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Kids it's really funny okay. if you have to explain the joke, Al. My jokes huh? are hilarious. All right, has everyone uh, rolled I initiative? I think we're missing Althea. Althea? 
Oh, sorry. Big dong. I love how we're still calling her Alf. Elf. Isn't it Aflia? Aflia. Aflia. She's, yes. she's like the el the alien elf. 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 All right, Lavetta. Yeah. Um, you you pick these guys up. Are you gonna do anything else on your turn? She 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 goes to she goes to sniff the the fistful. Of oh my god! And squashes them in her fist. Oh, no. So give me um. This is gonna be an unarmed attack, which I think I actually have already put on your sheet as you squish them. What would that be under? One of your attacks. Let me look. Because I think he gave you a pupper. It would be the pupper uh, claws. Pupper slash. Pupper slash. Uh, pupper, pupper slash. slash. Yeah. Okay, that hits. Go ahead and click the uh, thing. Ta-da. Click on the word pupper slash in chat. Okay, you kill a few of these bugs in your hand. She wipes the bug juice on her fur. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry, I hate bugs. I don't know why I added this. I, I didn't have to add this. Yeah, why? Uh, why did you do it? Why? Oh, yeah. Uh, trigger warning for anyone who doesn't like bugs. This is about to get really gross. Um, uh, I, I know some of the groups here have... I'm really sorry. I just... It's uh, not your fault. I try not to be too gross. <laughs> yeah, Levetta didn't... You didn't... Or, sorry, Shan, you didn't add the bugs to the game. Uh, if it's ever if it's too much for anyone, just let me know. DM me, and we'll 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 skip over it. Uh, but uh, yeah, all right. Uh, those who are watching stream, feel free to mute uh, when the little turn order thing is off the screen. You'll know that it's safe to come back. All righty. So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You see to your left as a group of insects, beetles. Bugs, worms start climbing along the walls, pitter pattering. Another swarm coming that way. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Another swarm to your right, climbing along the walls. Uh, they're actually going to dash to get you. Uh, and you are now. There's flies, there's bugs, it's disgusting all around you. Alright, alright. All right, the uh, rock grubs in your hand are going to start biting you. Um, and this one's gonna do this. Doesn't oh, that's a cat. Let's ignore that. The cat's not doing it. But it does an eleven attack. Or does love a eleven hit? Your AC is like sixteen right now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, that doesn't hit. Um. Okay, Zara! <laughs> Are you gonna do anything? Uh, you have no reason to believe that anything wrong has happened yet. Uh, yeah, nope. So... Whoop! Alrighty. Fleur, you have no reason to believe anything is wrong right now. What would you like to do? Hmm... No, no, actually, when I, count, when I came to this room, I'm going to say, don't go in there. That's what Zara would have done. Okay. Zara, what do you mean? 10, 15, 20. You're still, you are still in combat, so just watch your movement, too. Yep. Zara, what do you mean? Bug. Bug? Bug? Hmm. Bugs? Where? Hey, Jerry, you want some bugs? What, what was that? Jerry sounds sloshed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, n oh no. And for a spirit, <laughs> that takes a lot. Y yeah. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, uh, 
Fess, you're able to hear this conversation because it is literally just... Yeah. Uh, where are the bugs? Downstairs. Oh, you mean in the, the other room down the stairs? I heard bugs! I left! Okay. Okay. That should be exactly 30 feet. Anything else? Um, you, you have an action. Yeah, I'm. It's going to be my, my like Flory. Flory's not sure what the heck is going on, so she, she's looking. At, at, or they're looking down the down the stairs and like trying to see anything going on. Um, But won't actually uh, do anything with their action. Okay. Fess! Oh, sorry, correction. Uh, Althea. Yes. What would you like to do? I don't know anything about them, do I? Nope. <laughs> He's just going to continue looking. <laughs> Alright, you have your movement. You're welcome to use it as you please. Yep. I'm going to go here and open this door. I can't open the door. Mm. Alright, go ahead and open it. That will be. Alright, yeah, leads outside. Oh. Cold air brushes in. Or rather, the warm air flows out, but you know. Physics, thermodynamics. Do I have a physicist? No, I just spilled coffee all over my boobs. Well done. We're back to the boobs. Back to the boobs. Uh, it's been an hour. Perfect. Been, uh, that's my favorite '80s movie. How much did I move? Twenty feet. Ten feet. Ten feet. No, yeah, ten feet. The yeah, athlete's gonna peek out the door. He goes, eh. And everyone goes back. This way. Mm -hmm. Leaving the door open? Yeah, let the breeze in. So, that's 20. She's going to go back through the door there. She's going to take yeah. her time. <laughs> Fast. Alright. Um, I'd like to see if you'll let me use Glide to hop over this railing and glide down toward the uh, doorway that the others or that Al Althea just came from. Yeah, Althea or you mean Zara? Uh, Zara, sorry. Okay, uh, Running from the bugs, saying that there's bugs. All right, let go of your thing for a second. Okay. Oh, I'm grabbing it on the wrong. Thing. Yeah, My bad. I'm not. There you go. If you scroll down, you should be able to see easily enough. Yep. You can make that glide. Okay. Um, and that shouldn't take any of my movement. Uh, let me read it. So when you fall, you can use your reaction. So you're using your reaction. Spread your arms, stiffen your wind, slow your descent. While doing so, you continue to fall at a speed of 60 feet per round, taking no fall damage when you land. If you would fall at least 10 feet in this way, you might fly... Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's up to 10 feet. Uh, okay. So, uh, well, you cannot move upwards. Wait. Uh, if you would fall at least 10 feet in this way you might fly oh that's saying you could move your movement speed uh well when i yeah. land that's fine so it does use your it does use your movement so we'll say that's 20 feet okay you use 20 feet of your movement because that's how that okay. works right so gotcha it, it's just you're not going to take any damage um, gotcha gotcha yeah you've uh i don't know can you see my movement 
Or can you see this thing that I'm broadcasting? Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, so yeah, you move that 20 feet pretty easily. No damage. Okay. Uh, is that all I can do? No, you've got, what, 35 feet of movement? Oh, right. Um, so you've got that, and then you can dash as well if you want to use your action to dash. Yeah. I I will go ahead and dash. Okay. Are you headed downstairs? Yeah. All right. Five, 10, 15. Don't touch the character for a second. So this is 15 if you scroll down. 20, 25. I'm sorry, wait. What did I say? So so this would be 25. What's your movement? 35, right? 35, I think, yeah. yeah so 25, 30, 35. So you, you, you'd start your dash here. And then okay. 5, 10, 15. You have another 20 feet, but here you are. I want to... Okay, I want to... You don't have to go right there. You can go here. Yeah, I'd like. like to, uh, I'd like to move this way so that I have some distance on these bugs. Yep, that's perfectly fine. You won't be able to attack this round because you used your action yep. to dash. But uh, there you are. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Alrighty, that's your movement. Uh, you have your bonus action, but I don't think you have any bonus actions that would apply here. Unless it were like a spell or whatever. So uh, by this point, I'm smelling that something's wrong with these bugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, your bird ancestry. Uh, you would not eat these. These are I, gross. I wouldn't eat them. Shit. Oh, gods, no. Like, okay. they smell <laughs> revolting. Okay. So, I mean, some of the bugs, maybe, but like... It, Most of this, them, no. It reminds you a lot of that food that you saw before. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh, I'm just going to be like, don't eat the bugs. I, I don't think they're good for eating. Lavetta, your turn. You have no idea how close I'd actually came to like licking one of them instead of sniffing it, but I think <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> Lavetta is gonna see what happens when she places like the flame of her torch against the bugs, like trying to set it on fire. Okay, you bring your torch down. And it doesn't really seem to affect them as they just sort of, like, morph around it almost is probably the best way to put it. Like, they are, it's a swarm, right? So it's like, it just kind of, it, it doesn't really affect it, it doesn't seem, because uh, they just fly around. They're small. So the thing about swarms in D&D, this is a collection of creatures that okay. form a mass. All right, so you're saying that they move out the way when I move the yeah, move I think the torch. like Indiana Indiana okay. Jones style. Yep, yep. With like the snakes. All right, so Lavetta brings brings the torch like down to see to see if there's anything like on the ground ground or like within the vicinity of the box. What are you looking for? <laughs> something that the box would be attracted to, like a corpse or something since they smell of death. Give me an uh, investigation check. Ooh. I'm awake. Alrighty. Uh, so that's just going to be the 10. Uh, so you're looking at it. They just seem to have come through the dirt, really. Um, maybe there's a few grapes on the floor that have rotted, but other than that, there's nothing really attracting them other than probably a nice damp space. Did, um, did like the waving of the torch use an action? Uh, 
it depends. What do you want to do? Like I would have like used like a cantrip or something. Okay, I'd let you use a cantrip. Sure. All right, I'll go for sacred flame then. Just attempting to just chaotically see, see which ones. Can... Sorry, one. Wh which creature are you sacred flaming? The left one. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, oh, I, I just you can click Sacred Flame in your attacks. I gotta roll a Dex save. Uh, it's gonna be a DC sixteen to beat. It does not beat it, so it's going to take. Uh, you watch as you you. Yeah, wow, this is going to be interesting. How are you going to do this with a torch in your hand? Um, because you need to be able to grab your... I mean, I'm sure you could figure it out. Um, but you are... Uh, Fanny, just so you know, you can click uh, the I button in your thing so you don't have to post this oh, to channel. Sorry, I, I missed. That was a misclick. You're fine. Um, we'll say, well, okay, I'll ask this, Shan. How is Lavetta grasping her holy symbol as she does this? Because it is a, oh, it's verbal and semantic. Never mind. You don't need to worry about that. Um, so you just need your right hand. So as you shoot this, yeah, yeah, you just have to be mindful. If it has material components, you need to be able to hold your holy symbol, which is your necklace. So think about that when you're holding a torch. Uh, as you, you know, shoot your hand out, and this sort of radiant burst of energy burns a bunch of these creatures, and you hear as their corpses now hit the floor and burns away a good amount of these creatures. And it's at this point you realize that when you squished those other creatures in your, your hand earlier, it didn't really get rid of as much as you would have expected. Weirdly, something seems strange. Like they were able to sort of dodge out of your hand, but this flame... Oh, no one can beat the sort of holy retribution of nature as you burn away these creatures. She looks... She looks back down and then looks at, like, the, the fizzling bugs. I guess that's... <laughs> yeah. And those bugs. I think that concludes that time. Alrighty. Both of these are gonna go for a little chomp on you here, bud. A little uh, bit of a one's... nibble. This one's gonna go for a nibble. That misses. That misses. Alright. Um... This one, well, it can occupy. I mean, they're both chimp, but I think it can occupy. Yeah, this one, other one's gonna be right here as well. So there's now the insects and the grubs are occupying the same space. So you have four creatures around you right now, Levetta. Uh, four swarms. All right, it is the. She has many regrets. Miss and miss. You're <laughs> such a lucky little shit. All right. <laughs> 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 All right, Zara, you just watched as Fess fucking action movie jumps over the balcony railing, swoops down, and rushes past you downstairs. Eh, like whatever. A fucking badass. All right, what do you want to do? Uh -huh. You can move up to 90 feet if you used your action bonus action. I know. Why is this? Is this so, why is this? To your right is that that sort of uh ramp spiral that I mentioned before where the eastern bit goes up and the southern bit goes down. So your left is that loading dock that I mentioned before with that. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah. We're not going down. We are going up. So that was 35 40 45 Actually, I think you're at 30 
This was 30, so, I'm pretty sure. So to get, to get where you were, no, that's 25. I was standing there, so... Okay, I mean, I, I went whoop, 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 yeah, but... Okay, so, I understand. Yeah. You, okay, you 25. Walk, and then 30. 30. 35 to go diagonally, yep. 35. And then let me move I you. I go up. Yep. I'm gonna move... Oh, wrong screen. My bad, I keep grabbing you on the wrong screen. Sorry, I'm trying to be a camera woman at the same time here. With the... <laughs> you guys are all over this building, so I have to, like, <laughs> jump around. Uh, that's gonna be your 35, so you've used your bonus action, we'll say, to start. And then you can continue going. 40. 40. Oh, for, or 40. Uh, well, I would say you can't... It'd be kind of weird to Does diagonally. that go diagonally, or does that... Is that 40 or 45? <laughs> I'm I fine with whatever. 40, then 45. You're at 50 right now. 50. 60. Oh my god. Let's use my action to dash as well. 65. Door. Uh, that appears to go into that balcony that where Fats just jumped off of. In fact, you actually look like you are exactly where she just jumped off. Uh, to your right and down is that loading dock I mentioned before. Again, this is that crane that would lift barrels on and off the carts. All right. What was I on? 65? Uh, so 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Yep. Okay. 70. Can I open it or is that an action? No, you can open it. It's an item interaction. Basic. 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. There you go. You find a door in locked. front of you. Yeah, okay. one is locked. So that will take an action to open. Yeah, that's fine. Flo. Uh, I'm gonna head downstairs now. Okay, uh, so five feet there, and then I'm gonna move you, okay? So don't move. Yeah. That is your five foot there. It's five feet of your movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10, 10, 15, 20, You 20. see a wine cellar. <gasps> to your right is Fest. To your left is Levada swarmed. Uh, she's almost, like, cornered basically by all these bugs oh goodness uh floor will take a, a five, her last five foot step and, and to back away but then casts sacred flame at uh this so square. let me explain uh there are uh two swarms right here one swarm here one swarm here uh, but because they're swarms they can be on the same space yep yep all right, so you're doing the north one, right? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I will roll a uh, deck save for these guys. Uh-huh. Fail. Go ahead and give me their damage. You can just click on Sacred Flame, and I think it'll print it. Uh, At least I, I, I believe your spell DC is going to be out. Yeah, okay. Uh, 11 radiant damage. Uh, you burn as this white, bright, beautiful moonlight burns these grubs they sizzle away into nothingness and about more than half the swarm has disappeared as they sort of wiggle on the ground Very stay well. away <laughs> Elfia I still don't know what's going on. Apple <laughs> <laughs> is just mindfully minding her own business. You got a stairway in front of you, a door to your left, a door behind you. I'm gonna go up the stairs. So okay, so five ten. Uh, it'd be fifteen yep. to go upstairs. So I'm going to move you. Yep. You are upstairs. You have a hallway directly in front of you. Uh, I don't know if. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you, you got a wall to your back. Uh, so you're at 15 movement right now. You got three doors along the wall and an open door at the very end of the corridor. She's gonna go by each door. Okay. Just try. So, the first door. Move your token. There you go. Yep. This door is locked. It would take uh, an action to try to do something to it. I 
I believe it's going to try to hit it with her, with, her, with her axe to open the door. Give me an attack with your great axe, or your hand axe, whatever you're doing. Uh, she's not going to be too rough with it. You're not raging, is what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> she's just going to hit it with her small little hand axe. It's not going to be too much. Just it's not going to... Door, stats, D&D... <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. I'm I don't not being part of that one percent. I don't need your. I don't need this. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. Go ahead and roll dam. What is it? Fifteen. Yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. You slash through it. And you think another hit would break it open. Sorry, you hear something slice through wood to your left. Uh, on the other side of that wall. Great. Not directly in front of you, to your left. Yeah, I understand. Perfect. Uh, you are not three yet, Elfia. I have to hit it again. Do you have another attack? Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, that was the, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you pull, you try to pull your axe out, but it's now wedged in the door. It's going to probably take an action to get this thing out as you're like yanking on it, but you've hit it in such a way that it's like wedged into the door now. Uh, and that'll be your, uh, your turn. Yep. Fess. Okay. Um, I am going to attack with my longbow, I guess. Okay, give me an attack. All right. It's a critical fail. Ooh. You let loose this bow. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for me. Uh, oh. Lavetta, you take four points of damage oh, as shit. an arrow hits you in the back. Oh my god. <coughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> and sort of like wiggling uh, in the back of her shoulder. <laughs> I'm going to take my extra attack. Okay. With my longbow again. Go ahead. <laughs> Sure. Oh, yeah. so much like, better. Surely, surely you can't rule another one. Uh, I put it this way. Uh, a one. Well, you're going for the insects right here, right? Not the grubs. The grubs are the top one. The Correct. insects are the... Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for me, please. Okay. I'm also going to use gathered swarm. Go ahead and click it. Swarm V swarm. This yeah. Friday night. All right. Uh, which is roll whatever that is. I can't remember the top of my head. What is it? Um, 1d8? 1d6? I think you... Oh, motherfucker. Uh, uh, 1d6. 1d6. Go ahead and roll d6. Do you choose to move these creatures at all? Um, What do you mean, roll, move creatures? You have... If you read that thing that you just posted... Uh, yeah. You can choose to move them up to 15 feet to a direction of your choice. Oh, my my swarm or the other swarm? Uh, so the or, It says right here, uh, each of your turns you can cause the swarm to assist you in one of the following ways. Oh, sorry, one of the following ways. My bad. Uh, so, um... You don't... Oh, sorry. Okay. It's one of those options when you use it. Uh, you could have moved them or you could move you. Um, but you use the d6, so yeah. ignore me. Uh, as you shoot through these, you notice that these arrows, whilst hitting some of the bugs, it's really hard to get a good hit on them, and trying to pierce through them, it's just not as much as you would have liked. Okay. I.e., it has a resistance, is going to take half damage. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. It's a swarm. Basically, swarms are just harder to deal physical damage to. 
Because there are but so many of them. You, you did do a, a good job, and it's almost half of them are gone with that single arrow shot and your birds eating some of them. As all of my bird babies swarm this, like, bugs. <laughs> Yeah, they're like swerping up some of the worms and they're happy. <laughs> and luckily you don't have to worry about them eating it. Because they yeah, are Yeah, they're spirits. Like yeah. get after it. <laughs> Love that. Uh... Sorry about the arrow. She Love that is just she's like kinda like put you know where you like lift up your shoulder and you do that kinda like rolling shoulder type of thing. You know what? I'll, I'll take that out later. It's probably better staying stuck in anyway, I guess. And she just looks over. Uh, oh, boy. What would you like to do? Uh, she's... I, I don't want to risk other stuff, so I'm just gonna go for Sacred flame again, I guess. All right, on which one? Same which group? One. Uh, those one, yeah. insects. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and click it. I'm just putting it in here so I can do damage. You just click your sacred flame on your attacks. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. That burns away half of the remaining insects. All right. Oh, that's, that's me. Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. The left side one is going to attack you first. Ooh, finally. Okay. Six piercing damage to you. So take six points of damage. And then the other one. To me. Yep. Oh, and the other one hits oh. two for nine piercing damage. That's a total of fifteen damage. To oh, boy. The, oh, look at a question. What is your health at? I, I know you had. Wait, what's that going on? Are you at nine yeah, was, hit was, points? Yeah. Oh. Five. So I think it would be three, wouldn't it? It would be three, right? Or five. Five what? Math. What were you at, sorry? Twenty-four? Twenty-four. And you took uh fifteen, 15. points of damage. Yeah, it'd be nine, you're right. You had it right. Uh cool. and then Is that including I... what I hit? Yeah, them for? I gotta yes. remember what that was. Yeah, it is. D and D. Four HP. piercing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Did you take that four piercing? Yes, I did. Perfect. All right. What level are you? Are you five? Let me just make sure. Cause I got to do a calculation here. Uh, and then what's your con modifier? Two. So that should be 30. Why is four? That's weird. Um, math. Okay. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, right. So you are at. You take that four point. Did you already mark that down? You said. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately for you, we get to do something fun. Um, da, 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 da. You sound so happy. Oh, I'm so happy, dear. Let's see here. Um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Because try not to sound too sadistic. Uh, you're successfully, and you're unsuccessful, and you're successful. But where is this? Oh, God, please don't click that when I'm trying to read something. Sorry, don't click anything, right? You're good, you're good, you're good. I'm just trying to... Um... 
Now, there. Now, that. Where the fuck is this? Because I know it's here somewhere. Uh, oh, here. It's going to be in here. Uh, one third of your maximum HP, which is 38. So what is one third of 38? Uh, 11.4. You are below 11.4. Uh, once your HP drops below 130, you must make a... I need you to make a constitution or a wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom's probably going to be your best bet here. You succeed, because your current curse DC is 10. So, you may control... Uh, so, you notice, as you're hit here, you start to, like, feel that beast inside of you try to, like, take control. And you sort of center your mind and remain in control. So, um... Uh, on a success, you maintain control of your life and can form, and your curse DC decreases by 1. Um, so I gotta go check. Yep. Yep, okay, you're good. Uh, you still have control. Alrighty, thank you. Uh, basically, if you'd failed that roll, um, you would not have been in control of the puffer anymore. Copies. With great power, mm. it's great responsibility. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Oh, that's, no, it's not your turn. My turn. No, it's not my turn. Uh, the rock ropes haven't got to roll yet. Uh, here's the first one. Miss. Second one. Miss. All right. Zara. What would you like to do? <laughs> uh, lock picking a door. <laughs> give me a lock. Uh, give me a roll for lock picking. It's just Slide of thieves, hat? Thieves tools on your left, I think. Uh, attribute dexterity. I need to mm. choose an attribute. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Click. Door is unlocked. You I see open the door. What appears to be uh, a dining Somebody room. Somebody text something. on top of took me out. I was like, what the fuck is that? What is what? Is it text? What? Is that text on top of the, like, outside of the window? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's... Okay, it's gonna be distracting. Give me a second. Sorry, about... it's fine, it's You're... fine, it's fine. No, I'm fixing it now. You don't know, now, and now you get, now you get a line. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, there we go. <laughs> no fun for you. Um, so this room appears to be a dining room table. Um, some silverware is still set out. There's some moldy food on the table itself. Uh, along that sort of area on the left is like a preparation station area. Uh, stools and, and storage and cabinets along an L there. To your right is a door that's sort of on an angle. Based on the room you're in, probably a pantry of some sort. There's a cooker to the left, and there are eight chairs set around this table. You've got a door to your right. This appears to be a dining room of some sort. What would you like to do? I don't see any money. Give me an investigation check. Nope. Nope. No, you, uh, you got nothing. Then we'll go, this is then the ten feet. Why is your thieves tool thing so broken? It's weird. It's very, it is very, all of those three are very broken, I think, then. 
I will open this door. No, oh, because there's a... Why do you get plus two? Query attribute, no, dex. Why is it modified by a uh, at tool modifier? Uh, is it not because uh, proficient? But it oh, no, that's proficiency added. bonus. Oh, are you you're already pro you're proficient in thieves tool and it should query dexterity. I don't think you've got expertise in this, right? Um, I think I should because of my background. Maybe? No, you, your background would give you. Um, and your wait, wait. Uh, choose two skill. Oh, wait. I don't know. Ex I have expertise at first level. Choose two of your skill proficiencies or okay. one of your skill proficiencies and your profici Ah! I was reading. Yeah. Uh, you put it in. Uh, ac acrobatics and persuasion. Okay, so I shouldn't have the thingy. No, there you go. It's seven. It still doesn't matter. I just wanted to fix it because it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I opened this door. Uh, yeah. So this is a bedroom of some sort. Very nice, elegant-looking bedroom. Um, there's a large bed out in front of you. A mirror to your left. A sort of um desk. I know there's a pram in the uh, or not a pram, but like a crib to, in the the image. There's not a crib in here. Um, um, but um, um, it's is that gorgeous. like a chest? This room is massive. Yeah, there's a chest. There's uh, a whole bunch of stuff in this room. It's going to take another action to just go through it all. So um, I haven't used my action yet on this one, have I? No, I have opened the door. Thieves tool. Um, thieves I've tools, dealt with the thieves tool this round. Yes, investigated. Yeah, you got to remember it's just six um, seconds. So then, then, then that's going to be next round. Uh, all right, Flo. What are you barking at, Ashley? Things to bark. Right. Go ahead, Flo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to um continue to attack the the grubs, the swarm to the north. With okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, rock grub sticks. That just misses. Give me your uh, <laughs> <Failure>. 15. <laughs> so I just accidentally drew a line. There we go. Uh, these. Holy shite. Well, yeah, that's dead. <laughs> As the rest of the grub just. <laughs> Burn in a flame of fire. <laughs> There's like a screech <laughs> from some of them. It, yeah, floor is just looking at the at the floor. Oh, I don't see anymore. Oh, that one's gone. Yeah, good job, floor. <laughs> Alrighty, anything else? Uh, no. Elfia. You get your I axe out. Me. Okay. I could have smack again. <laughs> Another attack. I swear, I swear. Nope, you miss, but you can attack again. Yep. Zara, it sounds again. like someone's trying to break into this room. <laughs> wait, 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 me? Yeah. <laughs> the door is behind you. The one that you didn't come through? There's like a slash through it as you see something silver, like full on the shining right now. <laughs> oh god, okay. Here's Here's Alphalie. Here's <laughs> Alphalie. <Alphia. laughs> Alright, um, and, the, and it gets stuck again as you see that silvered great axe. There's not, it just. From the corner of my eye. Kind of. Yeah, just stuck Shit. in the door now. All right, fast. Okay, um, I am going to cast uh aid. Oh my goodness! Do you have any more spell slots? Oh no, you are correct. I do not because we haven't no. rested yet. You are you, correct. You have level da, one spell da, slots. Da, da, I do. 
Thank you. I don't think fairy fire actually does any damage. It just outlines them, though. Maybe read the rest of it. Any attack roll against affected creature or object has mm-hmm. advantage. Okay. It has advantage. So if yeah. they were outlined. Okay, I'll go ahead and cast fairy fire. Okay, give me the twenty foot square that you're gonna do it on. You should be able okay. to draw a, a thingy like before. Yeah, I just square. There's a deck save, I think. Uh, so... 20 feet. Yeah, okay. All, everything in that. So, uh, Levetta, mm-hmm. I need a deck save from you as I roll the deck save for the rest. Um, pick a color. What color is this going to be? Um... I'm going to say that it is like a, a shimmering green. Okay, I marked on the spell slot for you there. Uh, you are concentrating, so if you take any damage, we'll have to roll a con save. Just okay. like before. Uh, this is a minute. So I go it like that. You said green. Yeah. Uh, what is your save? But it will be 12. Okay. That's in the top of that sheet. Uh, just so you know for okay. the future. In my core? First one. No, on spells. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, I gotta move these. This one. Oh, yeah, you see. Uh, this one. And this one. Okay. Uh, this one from here saves, but the two right here do not. Okay. So these, the two that are like right here, uh, you can't see where I'm thinking, right there. The two farthest uh, from me. Yeah. Uh, and and Lovetta are now all lit up. Okay. Uh, so you're concentrating on this. Theoretically, you can drop this at any time, uh, or you can take damage. Um, all right. Anything else you'd like to do? Um. Um. So that was my action, right? I believe so, yeah. I believe Fairy Fire okay. is an action. Um. Can I use Mage Hand, or is that, like, it's a cantrip? Is it a bonus action, or is it an action? I can't remember. Meow. Just click on it, should say at the top. I think it's an action. It is an action, sorry. Alright, um, no, I guess I'm done. I Just doing that. Cool. Lavetta! Uh, the space in f- uh, north of you is now clear. You have two sets of bugs on either side. And a weird green glow about you. She's absolutely glowing. Mm. All I can think of is Bug Chan, please don't. But like my brain is <laughs> like Bug Chan! Um, Alright, so let me do a thing. How's your spell slots looking like? Oh, uh, you can't do that. Can I not? No, because you have not had a short rest since your last time using it. No! Wait, why? Why was my totem fulfilled then? Because uh, we the last crazy. thing we did was a giant fight with like fine creatures. I know, for some, for some the reason. Easy thing. <sighs> oh. You just maybe not have marked it down. Sure. Yeah, I may not have marked it. Alright, I guess, I guess, looking, I guess I'll just go for, uh... I guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> I guess I'll go fuck myself, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, but where, where'd I go? Sorry, I'm potatoing right now. You're fine. Where the hell, where the heck is Kyoyos? It's on your, both the front and it's on the front of your sheet if you just click it. God, I'm a potato. Then your attacks. We'll level I'm the gonna go for Kyoyos level three, I guess. Okay, make sure you mark down that spell slot when you do it. Go ahead and click. Yep. That. Uh. Yep. 
you are going to get 25 points of healing. Which is going to oh, put you good. at 34. If you mark down that third level spell slot, I believe you're right out. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to you one second. Yes, Stop it, stop it! Whoop, whoop. Oh, it was that shit. It wasn't me, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were <laughs> no. like, I'm like, go at me for being slow. I was like, damn, okay. Oh, I would never. I am having a go yeah. at the Barky Von Schnauzer. Wait. What are you doing? Barky McGee over there. All right, that is your action. Anything else you'd like to do? I don't believe you have much if... else you can do. Yeah, I don't think there's much else I can do, unfortunately. You have your movement. It's just if you go uh, anywhere you know, up, you will take an attack. Of, an attack yeah, I'll do an attack of opportunity. I'll, I'll try and like dash around you. Okay. Oh, not uh, dash. All three creatures are going to uh, attack you as you go up that way. They are going to have an advantage. So we'll do the um, one on the left. That'll hit. Uh, sorry, oh. that'll be the one on the right that'll hit. And then this will be the one on the left. Oh, my. Oh, oh. no. Oh, I, I, man. I absolutely regret that. All I three so will hit. Uh, one, two, Three, and then I need a con save from you before I tell you the damage. Wait, stop. That's just sorry. It's barking. Okay, uh, you are not poisoned. Uh, <laughs> you, you are not poisoned. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but, uh, you are gonna take for 25 points of damage so you know all that healing you just did <laughs> it, you know what though that is the first nat 20 i've ever pulled so what, i don't care i don't mm -hmm. care this whole uh, camping okay okay so, so mark yourself down to you're in the back at nine points of damage or healing nine points of hit, hit points oh, yeah, yeah, um yeah. but unfortunately for you it's their turn. Uh, no. Uh, even oh. worse. Uh, you have just oh. gone past a third of your health again, so I need you to roll another wood save. Oh. Uh, okay. You succeed. So your cursed DC goes down uh, by one again. I believe. You, you, you don't have to click the, the, the gear, Hunt. You can just click the, the word instead of clicking the gear. Because then it means you can edit it. If you just click the red, see how I'm closing it? Wait, me! So so you're clicking on your, your features and traits in the bottom right. You keep clicking the gear, which opens up the editing. You can just click the red, and that'll close it. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, dip, 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 dip. On a success... Your curse DC decreases by one. Actually, I don't know. Can it go lower than... Okay, no. All right, you're fine. Uh, five, ten. That's t only ten of your movement. Are you still running? You know what? Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna go here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. It is the buggy's turns. So the insects are going to and there uh, top one is going to go for uh, a bite of burb does a nine hit I don't believe it does I don't believe mm -hmm. you're that weak okay the, the bottom one this one's going for fast and we'll miss. That's not hit. Okay, uh, the grubbies. Um, can, you see as they climb, you just see like this little like scooch. <laughs> They're mm -hmm. very slow. <laughs> as they 
climb across the ground. Uh, okay. Zara. I should, I should Do get, I have I should... any... <laughs> One second. Do I have any I indication some, like... then that... <laughs> Chill music. <laughs> Let me, I got peaceful music. Here we go. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me, where's my, uh... Uh... <laughs> I need just, like completely different sounding music when we tab to you in Alfia. <laughs> oh god, commercials. There we go. <laughs> One second, guys. One second. This is like the Valheim Meadows song. It is. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I know this music. I love this music. I didn't even have to look. All right, I'm here. All right, what would you like to do, Zara? Do I have any indication that it's a, f uh, a flea going through that door? Me, uh... I don't know, just for like insight check. Inside? Is that what you said? Yeah, inside. Uh, yeah, well, we'll do insight. Yeah, sure. I don't know if insight's the right thing. Uh, investigation, maybe. What's your What's your investigation thing? It's plus like five, right? Six. Six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you recognize the axe. And you hear her grunting. Okay, then she'll just let her be and, um, <laughs> check out this room instead for valuables and money. Investigation check. So I wasted a lot of money buying shit. Investigation 12. This is a, a lot to go through. Um, you see on the desk uh, flyers for employment. You would presume... It's kind of hard to tell because you don't recognize the language. Um, but it is... Um, Uh, it's, you know, based on the, the discount. There's coins dropped about. You can find about, mm, we'll say, 5 gold, 14 silver, and 60 copper. 5 gold. That's on the table. Itself. Silver. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we can do it in pieces. Um, 14 silver, so that's uh, 9. And 60 copper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you also find, like, a dice set. You're welcome to pick that up and keep that if you'd like. It's just a set of uh, game dice. Me... They're nice. They they appear to be like ivory, which well, is unfortunate. I, mean, I but... thought I had some. You have a weighted die. Okay, I'll uh, I'll pick up the um, nice dice set. Uh, add um to your set. I would say ivory dice set, okay. which. Uh, this channel does not support the ivory trade, but... These people did. These people did. Um, you also notice, like, a lyre, if you care for a lyre, uh, the instrument. Nope. Okay. Uh, there's also on the desk, in a little pouch, uh, you open it up, and there's this beautiful... It almost looks like a very fine glitter. Um, give me a history check. Give me a history check. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say with advantage on this one. Cons well, I'm just gonna lower the DC. Um, you're like, what the fuck is this? And then it hits Shiny. you. Oh, it is. Uh, it's more than just shiny. You recognize this. You've worked in the criminal underworld. What? Mm -hmm. 
This is a drug known as Sparkle. Hmm. It is uh, it's a very highly sought after drug. Very expensive, very rare. Okay. This one is giving off, it's giving this vibe. What's, what's the thing kids do these days? It's giving blank. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, um, it is, uh, let's see here. It's giving a lot. Yoinked. Uh, give me in one, the pouch. Two, three, four, five. Give me a d6, please. What? Well, I'm not touching it. Do I still need? No, 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 no. I, 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 I know. Just roll a d6 for me, please. Okay. Just two, three. It is like a white powder. That was just determining which color it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. Because this comes in. You would recognize that. You know that it comes in. Uh various different colors and it all has a different Do I know what effect. the colors mean? Or does it not mean anything? Is it just colors? No, not even not with that roll. If it was a little bit higher, yes, but not no. Uh, you know what yeah, it is, fine. but you don't recognize what the color You know there's like different colors of it. Uh, and based right, on the color. Uh, but I'll it's add. a highly sought after drug. Uh, and it is made um hmm let me let me let me pull up i think i have so i don't have that sheet page prepared yet uh, i have it written up but so i can yeah, that's fine that's fine she doesn't put know a pouch of white sparkle on your thing yeah, i have um, put that on my thingy and then um Da, 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 da. Yes, okay, so uh, you would know that uh, it's it's made from, like, y y you don't know too much about it, because it's very rare, and it's, it's never really shown up in your work, line of work. It, um, you know that it, like, enhances the senses, so it's a, a, a uh, stimulant sort of drug, kind of like cocaine, basically. Uh, but it enhances your senses, especially with um, uh, sort of your knowledge of like the ley lines. So like a lot of like college wizards who are like studying will use this stuff to like enhance their abilities. Other wizards will as well, but there is a downside to it. Uh, you know, it, it comes in different forms. You can snort it, you can smoke it. Um, uh, the thing with stuff like whatever they manage to do with it, they'll do it. Yeah, it's uh, but it's like a dust. It's like a beautiful, like like I said, it's like a fine glitter. Um, but it causes a head rush, and uh, like I said, wizards will use it to, or sorry, like wizards and sorcerers will use it to their ability uh, to enhance their abilities. Um, excuse me. Um, but yeah, it has different effects it comes from um there are sort of four main variations of it uh and then there's like a fifth color that you've heard about that's like mixed with something else um but uh yeah yeah i would Spons say the last thing you would know about it last thing you would know about it is like it's used in a lot of different ways so like the drug itself is made from something to do with the ley lines you don't really care about the ley lines they're magic it's magic shit it doesn't really affect you but you know that it has something to do with it uh and this drug is made as a result of that all right yeah. all right uh like i said at any point you want me to remind you of that i'll work on the sheet eventually i have it yeah, so yeah that's, I fine, just that's fine that's fine haven't fully done it yet uh but yeah all right so you got a white bag of sparkle um let me I'm trying to think how much it would be um you can you can we can continue with the fight you can just say the details just sort of later yeah I have just a bunch in there yeah 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 um there's also 
uh, like a chest. That will take a whole nother action for you to go kind of shift through that. Um, because this is a massive room, right? It's a big, it's a big bedroom. You're kind of shifting through stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, and I'll say there's one more thing on the table. Um, that you spot. And it appears to be like a little amulet of some sort. And it's... It's hard to discern at first. Uh, but it's it's pretty. It's shiny. Uh, it looks to be made of copper. And it's got little gears on the inside of it. But you'd have to like study it a little bit more to get an idea what it is. Yeah, I'll yoink it and study it later. Her fact. Uh, add a... Uh, uh, clockwork amulet to your sheet. Okay. Yep. Ready, and we'll do the rest later. Alrighty, floor. Uh, let me wait. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Shift back to the music. Okay. Uh, well, the bugs are now directly in front of me. Hi. Um. Yeek! More sacred mm -hmm. flame. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Well, and that one. Right in front of me. Remainder. A little bit of smoke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Didn't even right. need the advantage. Oh yeah, you would well, advantage wouldn't have affected it, but yeah. It's a DC not save. an attack roll. Yeah, so Sacred Flame gotcha. is nice because it has its ups and downs. It forces them to make a save, but it's not like an attack roll. Yeah. But you just have to be able to see um, and all that. So yeah. Dasher, please stop barking. Ooh. All right. Anything else? Uh, no. She's just going to kind of in her space crowd as far away from the bugs as she can. Okay. Uh, Althea. Oh, wait. <clears throat> <laughs> this is killing me. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> yes. Althea, you're gonna me. go for the door again. Are you attacking okay, the door yeah. again? Yes, I think I'm going to attack the door again. I, I believe yeah. I'm getting pissed off at this door. <laughs> to the point of uh -oh. rage. Yes, to the point of rage. Roll me a D8. <laughs> Roll me a D8. I don't know how useful this is gonna be. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fuck, which one was that again? Shadows weave around a weapon of your choice that you are holding. Until your rage ends, your weapon deals psychic damage instead of bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing damage, and it gains light no. and throw oh. properties. Um, Tasher, please. Uh, or 20 feet. Uh, if you drop the weapon or throw it, the weapon dissipates and reappears in your hand at the end of your turn. <laughs> but it's a door. <laughs> it's pissed me off. I am going to basically you, give this as much damage as I fucking can. Are you going to recklessly attack it? Would you like Not to recklessly yet. attack? Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll attack. Okay. Dasher, I need you to stop barking right now. Very rude. 
Okay, that's a that's a miss. <laughs> now I'm going to reckless the attack. Yeah, that's with advantage. Uh, that... I don't know if you could. Do you get like advantage to go against attacks or whatever, or, like against I don't know. I don't know. against uh, objects? I don't know what the barbarian gets here. I don't know either. Uh, recklessly attack. As a barbarian, you have resistance to well, your rage. Advantage on strength checks. Would you like to kick the door in? <laughs> or you still just want to hit it with your thing? No, she just wants to hit it with the axe. Okay, uh... Well, with that in mind... I mean, if she's raging, wouldn't the music be more like... Sorry. She's like five foot tall. She's like five foot tall. <laughs> she's no, like five foot no! Tall. <laughs> hey, no, bring the height into this! <laughs> Come on! Alright, you... She's just a small thing. You are, uh, Angie. Where's the fist thing? Uh, oh, here, we'll just use this one. There you go. All right. Sorry. Uh, back to Fess. Okay. Um. I am. Going at to attack with my sickles. Okay. That'll hit. I'll ignore the two, but yeah, I'll still hit. Okay. The two is for archery. Gotcha. Um. Yep. And I guess damage. Just click on the work. Yep. Um, you notice it's a little bit harder to hit some of these. Would you like to use I... your gathered swarm ability at all? Um, yes. Damage? I would. Pushing them or pushing you? Pushing them. Okay, can you click the chat button on it so I can read the exact wording on it? Sure. Give me just a second. I believe it's a strength fave from them, but I don't know how far they can move. Uh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna do a strength saving throw. Okay. Fail. Uh, which direction are you moving them? You move them horizontally 15 feet. Um. I'm gonna push them back over on top of the grubs over there. Into the fairy you fire. You, like, slash out, and then this, like, swarm of birds shoot out of your, like, cloak and push the bugs back. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's your one attack. Um. Would you like to yes. attack again? I would. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at them because that's the only thing I can do. Go I'm ahead. gonna use my longbow. 11. Is this at the grubs or the insects? Uh, I will say the insects that I just attacked. Okay, that will miss. Ah, sugar. I should have gone with the grubs. <laughs> uh, and then can you link fairy fire again? I don't think they get to roll again. I think... Uh, I will link it again. I think they do. I think it's just until the end. But it is just yep. like, yeah. yeah. All right, live it up. Up to a minute. All righty, you are gonna. As you shall just, yeah, she'll she'll crawl around to you. You know, you know what? I fuck it. I'm. 
I'm just gonna use sacred flame without healing myself first. It's fine. Okay, on the grubs or on the insects? The grubs. Yes. All right. Okay, that's a fail. Go ahead and click sacred. Go ahead ahead and click. Like both of them are crossed out for me, right? No, there's two in here. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, what am I doing? So you said grubs. It's fine. Already rolled grubs. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and click uh, sacred flame, please, in your attacks. Alrighty. Hey, All right. Anything else you'd like to do? You know what I'll do? Uh, healing word as a bonus. I think that's a bonus action, right? You can, yes. yep. On who? All right, I'll, I'll go for myself. Hey, what level? If that's okay. I'll go level two. Okay, go ahead and click the button. Type in level two. Give yourself 15 points of healing. All right. Nice. Mark down a slot. Mark down a spell slot. I think you're at... I don't know how many slots. I think you're out of two and three now. Yep. Cool. Insects time. They're not happy. They're gonna go here. I'm gonna roll a D3. One is Fleur, two is Levetta, three is Crowface. Professor. Crowface it is. Okay. Uh, they are at 15. Uh, <clears throat> nothing. Uh, <laughs> does a 14 hit? <laughs> I think that's exactly my armor's for. It is. Perfect. Nine piercing damage as these bugs uh, swarm and bite you. You got bug bites all over here. All righty. Uh, It is the grubs churn. Uh, They can should make it there and that's their turn. (laughs) I'm so glad Uh, these things are so slow. I am here. Okay, what would you like to do? I will <laughs> move to the little chest. Oh. And you, uh, you open up the chest, and there is just a pouch of gold. 50 gold pieces, 1,250 silver pieces. There's nothing weird about it? I did not finish. No. Oh. Did you, did you pick up the gold at all? Well, I she would first check the chest and, you know, anything in the chest for any weird stuff. There's no lock on it. As you open it up, it's just a pouch sitting on it. However, you have a very high perception. You notice that, um... The bottom of the chest is weirdly higher than what should be the bottom. Interesting. Does it do I think it is trapped? Uh you can give me an investigation check. Uh, now, you think just with like the right leverage, if you were to lift that bag out and then push like the corner, maybe you could probably flip up the false bottom. Do I? Oh, so 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 I don't. So wait, hold on. Oh, lever. Okay, so I, you don't mean like weighing it down the same. Just open it. Um, no, okay, it's then. just kind of like balanced, and you think if you just sort of pushed it on one corner, it'd flip up, and you could pull it out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then that seems to be what she would do. 
You set the gold pouch to the side and you click the bottom, flips up. At the bottom, there is a gold locket. Uh, it's like a locket that you could open up, as well as uh, another pouch that contains two beautiful gemstones. All right, not no weird shit again. Like she's still keeping nope. an eye out for. Did you add? All right, so what? Fifty gold. I pieces? haven't added anything yet, so that was gonna 50 be the gold next pieces. thing. Fifty gold pieces. Okay. Zero. Then one thousand two hundred and fifty silver. Hold on. <laughs> it's a lot of silver. So one thousand five hundred and. One thousand two fifty. One thousand two fifty. Okay, so that's one. Uh... Three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, they, they, they appear to be a lot more used than the gold. And they've got a beautiful throat on the... Um, on All the right, silver. I've so added those. Add a gold locket uh, and write down it's worth 25 gold pieces. As you flick open the locket, there's just a picture. It's like a portrait, a painted little portrait of a beautiful woman in it. All right, added... And then two gemstones worth 50 gold pieces each. Okay. Okay. That is, uh, that is it for this room in terms of what you can discern. Yeah, that's fine. That was the, that was the turn. Alrighty. Huh. More bugs. More bugs. Uh, floor is going to uh, hit the grubs with the sacred flame. Aye. Yep. Uh, go ahead and roll your thing. Stay away! There's only like a few grubs sort of crawling around on the floor and the wall left. What would you like to do? Uh... like to expend one of my sorcery points mm -hmm. um, to twin the spell and also uh, hit the uh, the other insects. So I imagine I have to roll another. Yeah, I'm rolling another dexterity save. Okay, so it'll take a eleven. All right. Here we go. Uh-huh. It sounds like, you know, when you burn wood on a fire, sometimes it, like, crackles and pops. Mm-hmm. That's what's happening to the beetles. Lots of crackles and pops. Mm. Nice. Snap, crackle, pop. All right. Anything uh -huh. else? Nope. That'll be my turn. <laughs> Athea. It's just great to go swapping between the two. I want to see her respect that she's keeping up with the music changes. Alfia. Oh, she had to pop to the toilet. I imagine she's just going to try to hit this thing again. I mean, probably. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, I'll do... Oh, she actually has been missing. She's got a whole other one. Okay, she hits with that one. She misses, so she's going to reckless with that one. So okay. one will hit for okay. Then she's got an offhand that she can do. All right. The door finally falls down onto the ground. <laughs> Broken. Uh, uh, Zara, as you're, like, picking up all this stuff, you see Althea just, like, standing in the doorway out of breath. Axes in her hand. <laughs> okay. 
She's like sweating. Got like a vein in her head and she's just staring ahead. The door falls to the ground. You all muted, by the way, Peds. I don't know if you're back or not, but. All right, we'll just say that she stands in the doorway for this turn. All right. Best. Um. All right. Uh. I mean, I guess I'm gonna attack the things right in front of me again. Cool. Um. What are we barking at? I'll just I'll just attack with my longbow again. I know it's ridiculous, but like I can it's have be a chance of doing more damage because you are threatened. So it will be at disadvantage. Okay. Right. So would would the sickles not be at disadvantage? Correct. So range. Okay, attacks. I'll do the sickles then. Ranged attacks are going to be at disadvantage if you're threatened. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's a miss. You have another attack. <clears throat> uh, that'll hit. Okay. Okay. Kill one of the remaining bugs. Just one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I'd, I'd like to go ahead and use my Gathered Swarm again. Okay, you need to deal damage. Um, I'll... There's not a lot left. I'll just do damage. That's Roll a D4 D6. or D6. D6. Okay, you see one of the crows pick up a beetle and eat it. Pick up a beetle and eat it. There's only a few left. All right, Lavetta. Lavetta. Yep, sorry, it was pressing the wrong button. How many bugs are left? Uh, not a lot. Indescribable number. Hmm. Swarms are weird. Swarms are weird. <laughs> Just accept it. I... Yeah, I guess she's just gonna... You know, you know what? She is... She's gonna just try and start squishing them with her paws. She's just gonna, like, jump on top of them. Okay, click the slashing thing. Okay, the slashing thing, okay. But it'll say it's bludgeoning damage. Uh... uh yeah, go ahead and click pupper slash in the chat. You squish the remaining bugs, uh, there. Lavetta yeah. takes... takes one of... I think she had a flask. I think she's got a flask. Oh, it's okay. Uh, sorry, I was just checking. Basically, what I want to do is I want a way to, like, gather up the bug juices into a cup. Okay. Uh, they'll probably take your next um... action. All right. All right. Oh, wait, this bug's still alive. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just ignore that. Just, just, I'm done. I'm done here. <laughs> Sorry, I thought, they, I thought the bugs were dead. It's all good. Nope. All right, There's last one. There's a bug left. This one's going for you, Floor. I'm so surprised. 16 will hit. Uh, yep, that does hit. 9 piercing and any con save. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, you <laughs> are... Mm. Alright, just the 9 points. And then they're gonna... And they just crawl. There you go. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right. Uh, you see Elfia standing in the doorway after she's knocked down this door, just sweating, axes in hand. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll first go to there. I'll just go, hi! What's the... 
Pez what? is back. You could have. You're muted. Yelled. Pez, there you go. Well, I um. Oh, no, I'm serious. I mean, I mean, if you're if you're here, then it's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't go downstairs, downstairs, and then she'll just focus on that door. Alright, uh, it opens up into ah! a cupboard. Ah! There's, this seems to be like just a, a dry cupboard. Um, and a lotter, I think is the proper term. Various uh, food items in here. But a lot of them look like they've gone off, and that, that hasn't Looks a little interesting. Like just food that hasn't gone bad, or what do you mean? Uh, you know how well. You remember what I said about the the, the well, because mm, 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 this wouldn't be. No, I mean there's like. <sighs> rations and stuff in here but a lot of this stuff doesn't like you you'd be weary to to eat it because this has been food that's been left in a cupboard for six years more than six years but like six years yeah she'll just close it okay where would you like to go uh then she'll do it so that's 15 like 20 so she'll go towards the flea you have a bonus action to dash if you like no. Nah. I bet. Oh. Righty then. Uh. Ah. <clears throat> uh. These bugs need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing to sacred flame. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How would you like to do this? Uh, um. The uh, the moon, the moonlight crisps the bugs, and quite almost quite literally charges them to ash as they finally. Are just gone. You are all out of combat. No more bugs. Hooray! Sweet. So the plan for today is I'm gonna have you guys finish up this house. You don't have too much left, uh, and then we'll end it. So we'll have you explore the remaining of the bits of this house, uh, if you wish to do so, and get an idea of where you want. <laughs> That looks looks a too bad, sheepishly, and I'm I'm sorry for that. I just I didn't think they'd like swarm as much as they did. I I apologize. I'm just glad we could come down and help. Yeah, I am also yeah, glad we yeah, could help. Yeah, and I, you know, you know what? Like my I'm... my original. Look thought was that you guys could have eaten them but they don't smell too good so I wouldn't have recommended that. I can't believe Zara just left you down here. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, they are not they are not okay for eating. They have the same problem that I smelled on the food that you were told not oh! to eat. Okay, yeah, that's that's probably not a floor slowly starts wandering <laughs> so you are in a cellar that line in the center there is actually large wine racks and there are wines all across it and then like a it's like an x pattern all the way across there's a lot of bottles of wine here full um and just stored if, across if looking closer is there any that stand out in particular uh, give me an investigation check. Uh, 
as you're looking, um, it's hard to tell, but there appears to be about three different types of wines here. And you read the, the bottles, and whilst you don't speak the language, um, you can at least know the names of them. They all seem to be proper nouns of some sort. Uh, the first one that you notice is going to be uh, Westbury Blanc, B-L-A-N-C. Then you've got a Westbury Cluge, R-O-U-G-E, or R-O-G-U-E. And then... Not that kind of rogue. Um, oh, damage. <laughs> and then Westbury number three. Does, does love that? I mean, can I do a history? Would it be a history check to see if I know anything about what? Know anything about wine? Yes. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. All right. I'll ignore the plus one. Uh, yeah, you got a red one, a white one, and um. <laughs> uh, let me remember what uh, number three is. Oh God, I Jose. No, this one isn't no, a rosé. No, 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 no. Th this one appears to... I fucking wrote this down. Why didn't it say... Bubble? No, this just one seems to be a bit older. Um, Vintage? Yeah, well, it's more like it aged longer. Perhaps like a higher... I have to cook my dinner dough. She's, she's gonna go for the oldest. No worries. Sorry. <clears throat> Um, and she's the oldest, yeah, the oldest wine that she can. The one that looks the most dusty. No, wait, you said none of them are dusty. No, they're, they, they're a little bit dusty. Um, you're looking... The, the date is printed just... on them, but it's the number threes that are mainly yeah, there. She'll, she'll just, she'll just take, she'll just take one of them. You can pick which bottle. She'll just take one of them. Uh, Add one bottle. Could, could try later. Yep. One bottle of Westbury number three. The beautiful bottle of wine. She's with that she That's a rain. Oh, those are the stairs. Yes. All right, she's she's gonna make her way upstairs then. Okay, Burbs, what are you guys doing down here? Um, kind of wandered all around looking. Uh, is this what's this other wall over another, here? Another wine rack appears to be empty. Okay. I found some more stairs. Okay. Uh, I'll follow you up there. Hey, uh, I'm mm -hmm. going to stack you guys. Yep. Uh, I don't have much interest in wine, so. You can go. You guys are upstairs. You can move around. Althea, what are you doing? And Zara, you guys okay. gonna keep looking around? Athlete is gonna just walk away from the door that she just fucking finally opened. And just... I'm gonna go to the next door. I'm trying to open that. Okay. Is it done? It's it's unlocked. You see, there's a few different chests and stuff. They've got clothes in it. Uh, you can find a total of fifty six copper. Ooh. Give me an investigation check. You also find in one of the chests a bunch of little... You find a flower crown. A lot of it's kind of dried out and wilted, but it is a beautiful little flower crown. And a bunch of little nature -y looking trinkets. Would you like to keep those? Nice. Alrighty. Wait, what was I going to study? And there's, there's various sets of clothes, but they appear to be like working clothes. You're welcome to add that to you if you want. 56 okay. copper, a flower crown, and little uh, nature-y trinkets. I'm on she said. 
because I kind of laugh. That's enough. <laughs> uh, 56 copper. Yep. A flower crown. Flower. And nature trinkets. Okay. Would you like the uh, clothes as well? The working clothes? Nah. Okay. All right, we'll go downstairs. Lavetta. Um, what are you doing? Trying to see. One sec. Okay. She is gonna like look around and see if there's anything worth. Uh... Worth from. Can I go Where through? are you looking for? Where are you looking? I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go to these these over here. Okay. They uh, give me an investigation check. These are full wine barrels. Uh, well, some of them. Uh, they've got written down on it, like shorthand on them. Um, but they're like fifty pounds each, so. Uh, if you want to keep them, you know, it's a <laughs> yes, barrel of wine. She's not, she's not going to keep the wine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bubs. Aww. Uh, uh, Floor realizes that they're back at the main room and continue, uh, and then decides to go up another flight of stairs. Hey, uh... Fast you doing that as well? Body's been inspected, yeah. They're like a pile of goo. Oh, okay, fine. I'll I'll stick with the uh, floor. Okay, and up a floor you go. I'm hilarious. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> You guys can move around. Uh, okay. What are you doing, Levada? You're poking the bodies. Oh, yeah, yeah, she is. She's she's using uh, using a rod to like poke the goop. It just kind of sizzles. I'm sorry, Anthea. Anthea. Did you want us to keep this goo somehow, or do you just want to leave it? You know what? She doesn't have anything to keep the goo, so she's she's just gonna keep looking around. Okay. Just for like, you know. Where are you going? Upstairs? Around? Where are we going? Yeah, I'll go upstairs. I don't know whether st is it these stairs or is it? Yes, yeah, these. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna move you to where the rest are because you'll eventually yeah, meet up with yeah, them. Just, yeah. There you go. You're up. Yep. Up. You scroll up. All right, so the room in front of you, uh, Burbs, you notice what appears to be a large contraption of some sort. And you have no fucking idea what this thing is, but it seems to have a crank. Uh, it's like um, there's a flat bit. There's some pa paper laying on top of it. And then the, the bit that goes up appears to have like... Um, like a flat bit and there's like a bunch of little letters sort of like locked into the flat bit and it looks like the crank moves that flat bit down onto the paper <laughs> oh oh see I'm sure you figured out what this is but your character would have no idea yeah. yep yeah um <laughs> uh I just look around for anything interesting or strange other than the thing. Uh, where's my investigation? On your left. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. So all these papers seem to be labels of some sort. There appears to be like a glue in here as well that they use to apply to bottles and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and they're sort of stacked up and you see Westbury Blanc, Westbury Rouge, Westbury number three, and you know, 
looks like a label, right? Mm -hmm. um, you would imagine looking at everything here that this is the label making room. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Hmm. Nothing of use, really. Nothing over here? No, uh, unfortunately, no. This is just where they make the labels for the wine. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, there's ink. There's inks if you want inks. Yeah, I'll take some ink. Yeah, how many bottles of ink do you want? Uh, like, how big are they? They're just, like, little bottles of ink. Okay, like little India ink bottles, kind of? Yeah, um... I'm just trying to find out. Nope, doesn't go bad. All right. Yeah, like, um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're not, it's not like a big bottle of ink. You know, just like a little, couple, like a bunch of vials and such, and, you know, as much gotcha. as you want. I'll take, um, like 10 vials. Okay. Add 10 bottles of ink to your bot, your, your thing. Okay. Alfia, Fleur, are you guys going into this final room? Yes. <clears throat> you guys all head on in. This room's a little bit different. All over these beds, you guys notice um, Dasher. Schnauzer. Barking with a mean um you notice there's like white sheets over all the furniture right like this room wasn't in use for a while um what are your guys passive perception looks like yours is 15 and 11 uh what is yours uh fast uh perception you said Passive perception. It's going to be a number. Oh my goodness, Rudolph. Or Dasher. Sorry, I'm so used to you. Come here. Come here. Is that just the the four? Uh, so it would be fourteen, probably. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Um, you guys are walking in here, and yeah, this room doesn't seem like it's been used in a really long time. In fact, uh, you notice, uh, Althea by one of the beds like you're walking around and one of the planks sort of like dips in and it's like a loose floorboard oh weird I think he wants to try and pull up the floorboard it easily is removed with no check needed yes sir you little monster little monster um, yeah, so you open up the floorboard, and inside is a journal. It's an old, time-worn journal, and I am Ooh. going to show you guys it. If you guys... Mm. There's a bunch of handwritten stuff in common. You're welcome to read it aloud if you'd like, or read some of it. You think Apollea can read? <laughs> She's gonna pass it to someone else to go, Hey, can one of you guys look at this? I, I don't trust myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you flip for it, and, and all the writing is in here, so you guys are welcome to read through it at some point. Um, yeah. But you're flipping through it, and, and it seems to be written from the perspective of someone looking for their sibling. Um, talking about how their sibling went missing. Um, I 
and how you know this is like tracking their movements and you notice that the dates start ticking up until about well you actually wouldn't know what date it is right now uh, but the last entry just says taking the time off going to follow the shipment I'm going to find you Alex hmm. and there's some weird stuff in here about a group called Emporia, Emporia. something about the letter E do you say that out loud Mm-hmm. Alfia and Zara well Zara's not here anymore because uh, uh, Emelina had to go but Alfia that name sounds familiar Emporia Leaves are like relay on the like breath like Emporia you start thinking back and you remember when you first met Zara and Lavetta there Mama. and you were what? Mama? What? <laughs> Uh, I said mama. <laughs> it's in the top, top, of, top of mama. Top of mama! I heard of mama. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you guys went to... Um, remember you guys went to the inn? Mm. Uh, there was that girl that you had met along the path who would later have been kidnapped. And you learned it was by a group called... Emporia. Yeah. Mm. That's it's the same group that you guys had learned about prior. Man, I mean, this is like session three. Missing people? Can I hold out my my hand to a floor and kind of like waggle my fingers? Mm, there you go. Thank you. I'm going to start flipping through. Yeah, you, I mean, I have it on the screen here, so if you'd like to read yeah. some of it, you're welcome to. Um, Again, you don't have to read it all right now. But like I said, it, yeah. it documents who have the writer uh, writing through it, um, talking about their sibling, Alex. Mm -hmm. um, and they talk about how they were taking time off work to try to locate them. Um, so they went into the city to speak with the group called the, uh, well, just says the Odysseans. Mm-hmm. Something about a library, searching records. Uh, and then they said um, they spoke to the librarian who would provide them with information. And then someone named Okavis Shalavoy sent them a statement about a collection of reports about missing people. Like Flora just said. Something mm -hmm. about uh, the letter E being branded onto people. Hmm. So I'm going to kind of communicate this. Like... Okay, so there's something in here about, like, missing people. Seems like there's quite a few missing people. Something about the letter E being branded onto people. And um, once again, Elfia, it flits. You have seen this before, very recently on Groff. Groff had an E branded to the back of his neck. Keep flicking through. Something about a girl yeah. named Annie. Yep. Uh, something about uh, a girl who came back. Uh, but she was branded. She was the one who was branded and she came back. Uh, it took you a while to find, or it took this person a while to find them. Learned about the name Emporia. Keeps going through. No, it was a false lead. But it talks about this group being a slave group. Uh, weirdly, um, taking people and, you know, like a human trafficking group. Keeps looking through. You know, it's just a false lead. And then they eventually weird found. Pink group. Yeah. Eventually found Annie, but she was done. Dead. 
the weirdest thing is they mentioned that her tongue was ripped out and her fingers chopped off. Now the writer seems to say that this is uh, a message. You can interpret what you wish. Um, keeps going, says they keep looking, and then they and then they write that they're gonna. They found a rumor about a shipment. Doesn't say what's in the shipment, who is the shipment, but a shipment tied to the group in Porium. So they're going to check it out next month. The next statement, which you would presume is next month, says they're going to take the time off work to go find the shipment. And that's the last thing written. Okay, so any of this ringing... I I mean, Flora and I don't even know where we are. Is, Is any of this ringing any bells for any of your party because <laughs> we're more in the dark than anyone After what year is it uh you would know it's 507 <laughs> oh it's 507 <laughs> Okay, Hopefully so it doesn't last, keep track of time. <laughs> the last... You would record, know what year it is. The, the last <laughs> record is from about six years ago? Yeah. Hmm. And at the beginning, it would be what, seven years ago? Eight years ago? The yeah, very first. Years. You're here as well, by the way. Sorry, you weren't in the... But you would have recognized these same things that I was saying that Alfia and Zara did. Shannon. Oh, me. Okay, because I was like... Yeah, you are. You, you, keep, you yeah. hear them talking about Emporia. Oh, right. Yeah. I can... I can... Uh, lean down and hold hold the book out for... I, I assume... Uh, they're still in... Levetta is still in wolf form. Mm-hmm. I can like hold the book in front of them. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she she's she can still do stuff. Like, yeah, that makes sense. She, oh yeah, she probably would have ripped the book up mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's you know what? She attempts to take hold of the book herself. Your fully big paws are like holy it, but it's hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. She is. Is she able to like hold it comfortably without like damaging it or anything? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Do you need me to flip pages <laughs> for you? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. I can. I can. I know my own body. Okay. And okay. She, her voice kind of like trails off when she says that because she's like. Oh, she goes to like turn a page and one of her claws gets like stuck in stuck in the page so she just like rips it out hands the book back and just reads the one page with with the claw that she's like (laughs) kept (laughs) she just keeps the here you go you can have this back Mm -hmm. take the book back didn't didn't we at some point want to go and find these people didn't we want to go and find these people or something I know that oh I, I, I don't know I just it's it's been so long at this point we've definitely seen seen this before just can't remember where Also, we probably shouldn't just stay cooped up in this room for too long. Yeah, that's fair. We'll probably inspect stuff like once we've left, just in case anyone comes back. Ooh. <laughs> um, You're in an abandoned city. <laughs> or uh, I know, but like how luck you said. You said that the wine, that the wine previously was was like relatively 
relatively like clean in comparison. No. So it's didn't you did you said it right at the beginning, didn't you? Like maybe it was my imagination. Never mind. No, no. It's downstairs where those oozes were. Yes. Yeah, where the oozes were. Yeah. But there was okay. no in or out. Oh, okay, okay, fine. That's that's fine. So, as we end the session today, I'm going to ask you guys a question. You have a lot of options here. You can return back down the hill towards Groth. You can further up the hill towards the villa. You can rest here. Uh, you can go to Belosia. Or continue to Belosia. What is your guys' sort of current plan? It just, like, helps me so I can plan things. Um... Uh I'd be interested in a rest. <laughs> so would I, yes. Yeah. I mean, there are beds here. Yeah. I'll be are, are we talking a long rest or a short rest? An hour or eight hours? Mm -hmm. I'd go well, for a long rest, but... I, I understand fine. that. I, I, with, um, I think I'd, I'd be interested in a long rest, but um, I don't know how concerned you are about your companion that we left behind. He seemed very poorly. I think maybe we can go back and, and, and rest down the bottom hill again. In the cold cabin. Yep. Alright. So that is what you guys will do next time. You will head back down the hill and uh, determine the state growth. You want to do a short rest before we head down the hill. You could do an hour long rest here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but what if we encounter stuff on the way down the hill? Then I we mean, make a do without spells. <laughs> if we have to. Alright! Melee weapons are here. We got this. Yep, yep. Let's, let's, <laughs> but, but, but to, yeah, but to be just, fair. We'll just have a quick, quick nap. Uh -huh. But to be fair, the sorcerer hasn't expended all of their spells. Uh -huh. You got me! You're perfectly fine! <laughs> We should really have a long run, but it is fine. It's fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, no, we should go. We check want out. one, but we we should. Now we'll go off. check out Groff. Groff. Okay. Short rest. Groff. Okay. Short rest. Okay. So you guys get a short rest. Uh, it means your abilities that reset on short rest uh, reset. So that includes your totem, uh, Lavetta. Also, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, you are now out of pupper form. Here we go. Uh, okay, so this is where I have to make sure everyone's HP is back to where it should be. Um. Yeah, so... I gotta, oh my god, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. You can also roll hit die, but let's make sure everyone's thing is back to where it should be. So, Althea, uh, you should be at uh, your max, because you guys all got five bonus, if you remember. Yep. So I think your max yep. is 45. Yeah. Uh, Flo... Do you want uh, me to do it? To... What's your mod? Uh, my constitution modifier is two. Say, so should be at 32. Uh, Yep. Uh, Levetta, you are at. Um, I think I put you back down to thirty-eight. Uh, yep. Uh, and then, okay, that's just your max. Do it on your sheet. Don't worry about the thingy, because we're not using this map anymore. Um, go here, and then, um, and then uh, that. Uh, Ka, so like Ka, uh, what's your okay. mod modifier? Or constitution. constitution. Uh, my modifier is one, I think. So yeah, okay. So now you can roll hit dice if you would like. Um, do you want to roll any hit dice? Yep. So it's eight. So you're up to twenty-eight. You can roll another one if you'd like. Click it again. You're up. 
to uh, 37. There you go. Uh, and then obviously Flora, you know how to do it. Lavetta, what's your health looking like? 24. Did you want to roll some hit dice? Means you can get some extra health. You just have to click on the hit dice box on your sheet. Yep, uh, up to 28. You want to roll another? Up to 33. You can roll another if you'd like. Okay, up to full health. There you go. Uh, you don't get any spells back, but you did get everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, Zara is set. Okay. So, we will leave it there. And you all will... Uh, We will leave it there. Uh, and you guys will be heading back down the mountain to make your decision. Um, after that, what is your guys... Well, mm, I'll just plan for a couple different options. Um, okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much to everyone who stopped by today for our um, weekly D&D. &D. Um, I am going to uh, jump over to Fallout London for a little bit. Tomorrow, well, am I? Is it one o'clock? Yeah, I'll do an hour of Fallout London. Um, tomorrow at one o'clock, or sorry, not one o'clock, ten o'clock. It's one o'clock now. Ten o'clock, we are going to be playing uh, board games on here. Anyone here is welcome to join. I know Vanny's playing and join. I don't know about, but you know, Shan, Pez, or you guys are welcome to join as well. We're going to be playing the board game Plunder. Uh, we'll likely do a practice round of it. So if you don't know how to play, we're happy to teach you. Uh, but yeah, that'll be on the stream. 10 o'clock. Good games. Mm. All right. Yay. Uh, all right, now I gotta... Thank you very much to everyone. I'm gonna... Do... Oh, London.